What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AD. I'm back. You know, I kind of took a couple days off. That's my bad. That's my bad. I took the couple days off because, you know, um, I was kind of helping my sister move because it was kind of her moving week today. So, or for the past week, I mean. So, I was kind of helping her, you know, move and stuff. It's been a hard week for her. So, you know, I've been up and down and I didn't really have time to, you know, get a video for you guys. But I made sure I made the time. You know, today's Friday. But yeah, I wanted to, you know, hit you guys back. But uh, I have something to talk about today as well that I wanted to talk about for talk about for time. And it's more about like, you know, like emotions and um, discipline. Now, before we talk about that, you know, hit the bell, you know, subscribe, share with your dog, your mom, everybody, you know, subscribe, just, you know, help out your boy. But, um, you know. I wanted to talk about, you know, emotions and discipline because, you know, and, you know, it's kind of part two on the money manage managing thing. As I said before, you know, uh, in my last video on money managing and, you know, how money can come and go, you know, just by building things up. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about that because, you know, this is also something I struggle with, struggle with, especially with, um, you know, what I do for work. I you know, trade and me trading, um, you know, sometimes I, uh, you know, like the emotions, like if I lose a trade, you know, I'll be mad or, you know, I'll, I want to, you know, get that money back type thing. And sometimes it's not the best option. So also for, you know, for people doing other things, just like, you know, if you guys are, you know, buying food or whatever, just like I said in my last video, you know, emotions and, you know, discipline with your money. So the discipline is where it gets crazy. It's all about the mindset. So for me, like, for example, I'll take a trade, right? Let's say I put it for $40, right? And, you know, I lose the trade, all right? And then I'm like, oh, whatever, like, you know, then I do another one and then I lose again. I'm not gonna keep, well, I shouldn't keep trading after those two L's because that's $80 in like, you know, a couple minutes, right? Because I can make money in a couple minutes. So I'm not going to just keep going back, right? I'm going to take take a chill, go do something else and come back in a couple hours type thing. And, you know, even if you don't trade, some people do the same things, especially when, you know, they're having a hard week or, you know, it's just things aren't going well for them. Right. So like they'll use money or buying things that, you know, it's not going to value them in the next couple of days after. Um, but they won't think about it in the moment because emotions, right? Emotions get the best of you, get the better of you most of the time. You know, and I'm not going to say, you know, because I'm struggling with this too, to this day, to this hour. And after this video, I will still be struggling with it because I'm human. All right. But I'm just, I'm just wanted to tell you guys, like, you know, it is hard, but you know, there's ways to overcome it. And sometimes you just need to move yourself from the situation as well. So let's say like, you know, you know, you had a hard week at work, right? And, you know, there's this thing you really want to buy, but you know, there's the finances aren't there yet, right? But you're just like, whatever, I'll just do it because I need to feel, you know, better about myself. You buy it and then, you know, a couple of days later, you know, you're late on a payment or you're late, you're late on this or, you know what I'm saying? It catches up to you. And I just want people to be mindful, especially, you know, kids my age and, um, you know, just just be aware of how you're spending your money and where it could go. And because, you know, you're probably going to need it more in the future than you are now. But as again, emotions. So, I, you know, things that you could help you with your mindset is, you know, music it could be music that's for me you know i love i like people who know me know i walk around with headphones in and when i don't have my headphones in i'm probably in my car listening to music so i'm always you know just engaged into something and i think a lot of people should and if it's not music it could be you know video games it could be you know um even watching tv you know some people will be like oh tv's a waste of time if it's if it's helping you calm down nothing's a waste of time okay i'm just gonna put that out there right now nothing is a waste of time if it helps you mentally okay because we're most of the time at war with our mental state and you know we push it over but you know we, it's something we shouldn't push over 
so it could be any of those things it could be more it could be even you know some people like to meditate you know i i've only done it a couple times i haven't really meditated like that but you know a lot of people love to meditate and if that's you know and if you're religious as well it could even be praying you know what i'm saying like just make sure it's something that makes you calm down and don't react in the moment okay and you know that's what i just wanted to talk to you guys about today you know emotions and what it can do to get for you to get the better of them so it's going to be a shorter video today but i just wanted to you know check in and see how you guys are doing and um if you guys are seeing this video you know put in the comment below on you know what you think you know your favorite fast food places i don't know but um it's your been your boy subscribe share and like you know it's kind of been a slow week but i will be back next week and you know i'll see you guys next time peace